very simply, right? There, it, when it comes down to sin, there are only two terms. There are only two. They're not three or four. You got harmatia, which is missing a mark. And then right. you have this other word called peribasis, which is deliberate sin. Okay. So there's only two. So when you look in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14, it says, Adam was not deceived, which is transgressional, which is harmatia. But the woman be, being deceived, she was in the transgression. That Greek word is parabasi sin. Right. It is it is the type of sin. If I were to go to my dude that graduated from from Talbot Theological Seminary, that knows Sean McDowell, this guy right here by the name of Milford Talbot. Uh, we did radio together. He was the first graduate of the apologetics program at Biola Talbot. Uh, Milford said that the Greek term, which I studied Greek from with him, said that the parabasi sin is a deliberate wrenching of your fist at God. It's like, I know what God said. I understood what he said, but I am wrenching at his my fist at him in a deliberate, disobedient point of view. Mm -hmm. So parabasi sin is different from harmatia sin totally different you have to understand the reason why and the reason why is paul is saying we say we're born again we're this but let me address with you come in on the period of genesis innocence when yes. adam and eve didn't know anything they didn't they didn't have social media they couldn't have gone to youtube it wasn't nobody but them they had no a priori knowledge of information it was just them and in that singleness of them eve within her heart pulled out Parabasi's sin. So because of the result of the fall and the result of the enticement, Paul is saying under the unction of the Holy Spirit that I desire women not to be in authority because they still have the nature of Parabasi's sin. On, so man. with that being said, Paul turns around and said that women do have a function. They doggone do. The right. Bible says that women, older women, are to teach younger women. Right. That's ministry. But that's not authoritative ministry. That's Come applicational on, ministry. Come on, it man. It is how a person is supposed to learn how to treat their husband, how to walk in a way, how to be around, that all the other individuals. And the Bible says that that godly woman lives such in a way that on, even bro. if she has a heathen husband, that dude will be transformed by her attitude. Paul is saying, take that attitude, that premise, and raise your children. And in that obedience, and in the same way we preach the gospel we know that your salvation will be absolute Come on. because you're conforming to god in a manner that is unlike your flesh that's it Ooh, it's not like your flesh it's that's not it. like your bible it's not like your way it's the very same way that 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 if me and keith was out in the street and somebody wanted to get out we go like, oh hold on we about to get oh can't do that because the bible says we can't be a brother but i want to though it's, <laughs> it is the it is the nature of it's the it's the nature of y'all know me matter of fact right. i can pull it up i can pull up i don't go on tour why because down deep down inside i'm still a hoe Mm. Y'all ain't hearing me. Come you on, think, boy. You think I can't dance? Come I can on, go boy. on stage right now. Take give me about five months and go out there and show everybody, including Hammer something. Come on, boy. It's the Holy Spirit that gives me the power to say no to Come my on, flesh. Man. And without the Holy Spirit giving me the power, I'm nothing. That's why I love when I saw Keith and he said, "Man." I gotta be honest with y'all. I'm through in my country stuff, man. I gotta be honest with y'all, man. Them some schoolboys, man. Them yeah. boys, them boys. He said them boys ain't rough because I know what schoolboys is. I was around Suge Knight when he developed a uh, death row. He was our, he was our, uh, the head baggage dude for us for six months when we was on tour with him. I saw real thugs. I know what stuff looks like. One of our bodyguards was a guy by the name of TC. He was over in Grenada when the whole hotel and the whole area blew up because yeah. those dudes were serious. So. When you come from a serious background yeah, and man. you know sin, then when you come, you be like, man, I tell y'all, doggone right. I was on radio. Dude asked me, oh, yo, ex, why are you a five-point Calvinist? I tell you why I'm a five-point, maybe a four-point Calvinist, because you don't even give me the option 
or busting you upside your head because I'll take it. See, in Armenianism, you can be like this. I'm saved, right? Yeah. Well, Lord going to forgive me for this one. And you see that in Tupac. You see it all in the hip hop culture. There's no restraining because their theology is jacked up from Jump Street. Why? Because they've been raised by their mamas. And if mama can rebel against God and then go to church on Sunday and say, oh, Lord, forgive me and go back to rebel against God. The children see that. So you have an in corporate view of Bible being raised by women because daddy ain't home. You see this whole evangelical twist. Why you think y'all got twisted when John MacArthur said, what do we do with Beth Moore? He said, go home, Beth. That's what he said. That's where you need to be, Beth. <laughs> Why? Because it's inappropriate. Beth, if you can't submit the biblical leadership, how are you going to teach your daughters and your and your granddaughters to submit the biblical leadership? You out of order. And guess what? People got ten. Mm. People got yeah, mad. Yeah. Guess what? Like if tight. you mad at me right now, if you mad at me, that's because you may have some parabasi sin in you. And yeah. that's why we're doing this video. They because we got to let individuals know that Ruslan, I love that dude. I told Seiko out of his own mouth. And you tell him, Seiko, me and you arguing. I said, man, if Fred Price Jr. got right, I'd be the first one to endorse his church. When we were on radio, radio doing ministry, we said if Fred Price Sr. reforms himself and gets for real with the gospel, we would endorse him day in and day out. Why? Because if you're a leader, you're a leader. Right. Irregardless. Right. The question is, what do you do with your leadership? So right. being, as, being at Ruse Line went from where he was in Kajukistan or wherever he was, and he came here by the grace of this of the laws within the constitution of this America and you ended up in San Diego, you should have been thankful but you weren't thankful. You got an attitude then turned around and went to the Armenian church. Yeah, I got to tell it. Went to the Armenian church and what happened? You more depraved and more depraved. Then all of a sudden you end up by, by your own accord. Go look at the video. He said, yeah, man, I was at a chronic concert in 1993 at 10 years old. Wait a minute. What? What white boy going to be at a chronic concert in 1993? <laughs> Hearing gin and juice at 10 years old. <laughs> then you turn around and start going to church to get with females because you're doing this. But the whole backdrop, you never said I was depraved. You never said I wasn't insane. You never said I was going to bust hell wide open. You said, but God had his hand on me. God didn't have his hand on you out there being with, with the world. He didn't have no hand when you were stealing, going in people's houses. He was patient and he was long suffering with you. But don't you dare ever say God was with you. And then you turn around and say, oh, well, you know, the female that was that came back to our apartment house, she got radically saved. If she didn't say what John the Baptist said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is hand, she wasn't saved. So stop playing this game about no. new birth, old birth, new wine skin, old wine skins. It's not compatible because dudes that know know better. Keith know better because he was a thug. I knew better because I was in the entertainment business. Chili, Left Eye, uh, In Vogue, you name it. The females been there, done that. But I know the difference between life and not life. And Seiko knows Ooh. it too. So it's time to stop all this nonsense and get serious because if you know what's going on and you see what's going on, you know we're about to end the 69th week and we're about to go into the 70th week. But y'all so dumb and crazy. Y'all don't y'all can't see it for your eyes closed. You know what? God is with Trump. God was never with Trump. Well, God is with Biden. God ain't with Biden either. You kidding me? You supposed to trust God. But when you look at it, when we get to it, Isaiah, he used chapter 8 when he was talking, and he took that out of context, too. And I'm going to show you. Go ahead, Seiko.